A senior Russian official has disclosed that the delivery of Sarmat complexes and S-500 anti-aircraft missile system, previously dubbed Invincible, by Russian President Vladimir Putin, is scheduled to be completed by 2024. Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Kriveruko made this announcement on January 26. The minister mentioned that the main priority for military technical support to the Russian armed forces this year is the completion of the deployment of the Sarmat and S-500 strategic missile system within the strategic missile forces. Russia's RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan-2, is part of a series of advanced missiles introduced by Putin in 2018, alongside the Kinzel and Avangard hypersonic missiles. Sarmat, weighing over 200 tons and possessing the ability to transport multiple warheads, is designed to circumvent anti-missile defense systems by executing a brief initial boost phase. This approach aims to reduce the time frame available for enemy surveillance systems to identify and monitor the missile. Separately, it was disclosed on the same day that the silos for the active duty of Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBM, alongside Yars ICBMs and Avangard, are now prepared. Russian Deputy Defense Minister stated, in the framework of infrastructure provision of the group of forces and nuclear deterrence means, all events were fulfilled on time. Infrastructure was prepared for combat duty in silos of Yars, Avangard, and Sarmat strategic missile complexes in Kaluga, Orenburg and Krasnoyarsk regions. Alongside the Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, the minister highlighted that the arrival of two 160M missile carriers and the deployment of the S-500 anti-aircraft missile system in the aerospace forces are the principal objectives for 2024. Russia has sought the S-500 as a means of countering hypersonic weapons, and it would be able to reach farther into enemy territory. The weapon is expected to defeat threats at a range of 600 kilometers, 373 miles, according to the Center for International and Strategic Studies think tank, whereas the S-300 and S-400 can reach 150 kilometers and 400 kilometers, respectively. As far back as 2018, President Vladimir Putin called for the mass production of the S-500. The program is meant to lead to the deployment of 100 battalions, which include 800 launchers made up of S-350, S-400 and S-500 systems. Under the latest iteration of Russia's state armament program, also known as GPV-2027, funds are to go toward the production of the S-500 Prometheus. The previous iteration, GPV-2020, laid out efforts to create, produce and maintain military equipment. Russia began developing the S-500 in 2010, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, which tracks the status of air and missile defense systems. In 2011, Russia unveiled plans for two new plants to produce the S-500, they opened in 2016. According to Russian media, one S-500 system would cost an estimated $700 million to $800 million in 2020, and up to $2.5 billion in 2023. In 2019, 
production of the S-500 began for the aerospace forces, according to the head of Russian defense conglomerate Rostec, Sergei Chemizov. The defense ministry and local company Almaz Anti signed a contract for the supply of more than 10 S-500s in 2021, with the first delivery expected in 2022, TASS reported during the 2021 MOX air show. Also in 2021, the first Special Purpose Air and Missile Defense Army, whose primary mission is the defense of Moscow, received its first S-500 system. However, the system arrived in a reduced configuration that did not meet the full requirements of the defense force. Experts who spoke to Defense News specifically cited the lack of exoatmospheric missiles. The S-500 is believed to be the most advanced in the world, capable of destroying volleys of hypersonic missiles. Russian experts claim that the S-500 could even target satellites in low-Earth orbit and fifth-generation stealth aircraft, in addition to its primary targets of cruise and ballistic missiles. The minister further underscored several pivotal goals for the ongoing year. These include the timely execution of schedules for supplying in demand weapons and military equipment. Furthermore, the objectives encompass increasing the production and share of missiles and ammunition, particularly emphasizing the development of hypersonic missile systems. The agenda also features a commitment to improve the production of the entire spectrum of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and prioritize advancements in electronic warfare systems, artillery systems, reconnaissance, and counter-battery warfare. He added that, as of now, there hasn't been an order from the defense minister to integrate them into active duty. Leonov explained that the acceptance process is time-consuming and necessitates a specific duration of missile operation.